is Bufo, Bufo Marinus, also known as the cane toad, and I'm here today to tell you just how good I am with killing native animals and birds and making a mess of your lovely waterways. You see, I don't like the waterways all clean and pristine-like. I prefer them to be dirty, muddy, smelly, and yucky, just like me. My ancestors were brought into Australia in 1935, and since then we have been very successful in wiping out masses of the native wildlife as we continue to cover this country. We love water, and wherever there is water, we will invade the waterways, and if anything stands in our way, we will destroy them. Our foodstuff is the same foodstuff as many of your native frogs, lizards, goannas, birds and snakes. So we'll kill them when we steal all of their food and they starve to death. The predators who like to eat frogs and other small animals, which look a bit like us but nowhere near as nasty, don't worry us because we have a weapon. And that weapon is our toxic gland on our heads. So when we are touched we exude out some poison which will kill even a crocodile in just a few minutes. Not bad, huh? We are so good, we can kill anything which tries to harm us. We are just so good. I'd like you to meet some of my family and fellow invading cane toads. This is the female toad. See the colour and texture difference? She will lay up to 60,000 eggs each year so that we can invade your country with lots and lots of cane toads, just like me. See those eggs that the female just laid? They all stick together so they are protected. I fertilise them as she lays them so they grow big and strong and invade, just like me. See my tadpoles and how black and round they are when compared to the frog's tadpoles. Gee, those black ones look great. They'll grow up just like me, aggressive and dangerous invaders. From eggs to tadpoles to metamorphs, they grow into small replicas of me. Nasty, strong, and able to move over the ground and around waterholes and kill anything which attacks them while eating bugs and stuff. Talk about eating. Boy, do they have an appetite. It's just as well we steal our food from others, otherwise it would cost a lot. As my offspring grow up, they continue to eat a lot of food. And when they eat so much, we need to spread out further and further to find more. These birds think they are so smart. They like to eat frogs and stuff like that. They think they can eat me too. Well, I've got news for them. Just try and eat me and I'll kill them. Yes, that's right. Just one bite into me and my mates and we'll poison them so they'll die. How wonderful is that? See, even those blokes left over from the dinosaur age think they are so smart. I'll kill them too. They won't last long once we get into the places where they live. Even these snakes aren't so smart. They think they can eat me too. But have I got some mad news for them? And that's death. Yes, when they bite into me or my mates, they'll die too, just like the rest of them. That way there soon won't be anything to kill me or my mates, and we can spread all over the countryside. Just listen to that sound. You might like it, but I don't. I prefer total quiet. Me and my mates are going to make it all quiet when we cut off the insects and bugs and things which are making that awful noise and replace it with our own. Isn't that a wonderful sound? Soon that's all you hear when we come to where I'm going to live and that's everywhere. But there is one predator that I just don't like. Yes, that's him in the photo. See that silly jacket he wears? Now, I don't get lost at night, so that must make him smarter than him, don't you think? He tries to pick me up, but I can move faster than him. I can hide too, so I'll make it very hard for him to find me. And when he does find me, I'll make it very hard for him to pick me up, because I'll just hop away. This is where you'll find me, and soon I'll have it all to myself. There will be no other frogs to eat my food. There will be no other birds to annoy me. There won't be any night sounds, except for ours. There won't be any goannas, snakes or lizards left to fight me for my food or water, 
and I can piddle and poo in the water and no one can stop me. Well, maybe, except that Kimberly Toadbuster or someone like him, who is interested enough to take the time to really get to know me. I'm just so good. I'm just so good. So my final message to you is this. My name is Bufo. Remember that, Bufo Marinas, also known as the Cane Toad. And if you leave me and my mates alone, we'll decimate the wildlife and pollute the waterways.